Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for September 2023. It is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. So if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing, hitting that like button and the notification bell. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Okay, let's get going and see what's happening for you. All right, so the overall energy we have is the magician in reverse. So some of you, I just heard there's some frustration. There might be some frustration around wanting to create certain things or you've had ideas that you've wanted to man some things that you've wanted to manifest. And maybe right now, I think the way this is coming across is spirits like hold tight. You're always manifesting, whether you're consciously manifesting, subconsciously manifesting, whatever it is. I think what you've set out into the universe is coming towards you. So this may not feel like one of those times where you actively have to be focused fully on it. I, I feel like they're almost telling you to pull your attention away from what you want to manifest and maybe be a little bit more present. That's I feel like that's what they're trying to tell you. All right, let's get into your current energy. So we have the strength in reverse with the five of wands. So, okay, this makes sense because sometimes when we force ourselves to push energy forward, um, to think about, to do the manifestations, to do all these things that we think we're supposed to be doing, we can actually wear ourselves out. They're like, take a step back because the five of wands is not just about drama, which a lot of people draw from this card. I don't typically, for me, it's really about you're in a training period. That's not fun to hear in a reading. We want to hear that things are going to be great and everything's going well. And But right now, I think it's important to understand that you're being trained for this next chapter in your life and it can wear you out quite a bit and you need time to rest. Let's see what's under that. So the three of swords in reverse. There's been some kind of heartache or heartbreak or pain, something associated with being hurt that you've definitely been working through. You're learning about matters of the heart and your relationships. Most Libras, I mean, that is what you're here to do. It's about learning how you want to be in relationships and they could wear you out and you've probably gotten tired of having to learn the same things over and over again. Well, you're lucky because one of those big astrological patterns for you has come to an end where you can focus, yes, solely on relationships in life, but some of the deeper lessons had to be learned up to this point. And I think you're doing a lot of healing as well, which takes a lot of energy. So if you can give yourself sort of a pass and kind of relax into what this month is trying to bring you, I think you're probably going to feel a lot better. So in the near future, see, they're saying you're done with this. They're trying to explain to you that you've come to the end of this particular cycle, whether it's that you're looking beyond what you thought you were passionate about before and those things are changing because yes the wands are about that but this is a lot of burden that you've been carrying for a long period of time and that's different for all of you whatever that is for you it's coming to an end there is ease there on the other side so September's definitely going to show you that especially those of you that are born at the end of the month it's going to show you what it's like for you not to have to carry these types of burdens anymore and the high priestess. So they want you to pay attention to the signs that are showing you that this is coming to an end. You don't have complete clarity right now, but that's not what they want you to be focused on. They want you to focus on learning how to trust, learning how to trust your intuition. Okay. So what you don't see coming is the Knight of Wands. Good. Now this is an energy. It can be one of two things. One, it could be that somebody has a tremendous attraction to you or some something deep within them that can't hold back any longer and they want to express how they feel about you, whether you choose to accept this or not. It doesn't feel like somebody from your past. I'll be honest, it feels like something new. So if you have been single for quite some time, then that's going to be for you guys. It just feels like somebody really wants to tell you and they've thought this through quite a bit before approaching you. 
I'm not saying you're not aware that this person has feelings for you. You may be very aware. And I think you're going to take your time to think this through as well. This is also resting, right? The Four of Swords is taking that time out that we need. But you may take a moment. I don't think you're going to jump into anything too quickly. The Eight of Cups. Because you realize here that you've had to walk away from a lot of things that were creating an emotional emotional disruption. That's the word that's coming to me. So thinking this through is going to be important because you definitely don't want to repeat these cycles. What they're asking you to do is pay attention to the things that you've learned because you're starting this new venture in your life, if you will, and you're laying down something that's been weighing on you for such a long time. You may have fully had to walk away from the other thing before you could entertain something new. So I think you're going to take your time. I do. But whatever it is that was lingering in the past, it just doesn't feel like it's there anymore. It's not going to be something that's hanging over your head. So that's a, that's a good thing because if you don't feel that right this moment, what you don't see coming is that you're going to put some of those emotions behind you, which is great. It's the same thing as the Ten of Wands to me in this way. So... What Spirit wants you to focus on, the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Cups. Okay, it's important, really important right now, not to beat yourself up about the past. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the Six of Cups. There's feelings, nostalgia, reminders, and there's a constant back and forth energy about the things that didn't work. There is nothing we can do about the past. I know that's easier said than done, but we have to focus on what's coming. Have you learned those the lessons and you take those forward? Absolutely. But taking the lessons forward and saying, okay, I consciously know now I'm not going to do this this way because it didn't work out that way in the past, but we don't want to create fear around taking steps towards things in the future because of our past experiences. And I think that's what they're trying to say here is that although at times you, of course, the juggler, Libra, you go back and forth in your mind about those things that have happened, it's really in your best interest to focus on leaving some of that emotional distress, those feelings that may be connected to things that haven't worked out in the past the best that you can. The challenge this month is the Five of Cups, it, the same thing is to not focus on the things that have already hurt or haven't worked out and allowing yourself to get engulfed in those emotions. Because, I mean, we all go there. And if you do feel it, feel it, but try to get past it, not shove it down, feel it, release it, do what you can with it. But the challenge is definitely to not focus on the sadness, the grief, the regrets, things like that. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify with the Magician in Reverse. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. So again, this is, you don't have to push and force and work so hard. Just allow, allow. Sometimes we do have to take a lot of uh, steps towards creating the things that we want to. But when you're in a time when spirit wants you to learn something, then putting a bunch of effort into something is just going to wear you out. I want you, I kind of want to push you to, to allow things to unfold the best that you can. Really relax into the energy this month. Under that is the Queen of Cups. For some of you, this could be, there could be a disconnect with a feminine energy in your life or you feel like somebody shut down or maybe you're feeling a little bit shut down emotionally and you don't really want to wear your heart on your sleeve we've got the three of pentacles which can be the way to do it especially if there is something going on let's switch to work if there's something going on in your work sector and you know you have to work with other people and you don't want to get emotionally attached in any way and you want to keep things professional i think you'll have an easier time doing that not letting things affect you that way even though in the past if there's been a lot of drama and it's really drained you. I just think you're going to separate yourself a little bit better this month than maybe you have in the past. Strength with the five of wands. We have this, there's that six of pentacles. I kept feeling like it was going to come out. So this is things balancing out. Yes, it is very much like the justice card, but it's also having enough that you feel like you can help others. 
And I think you've learned how to manage things so that you could do that. It doesn't mean that you have to give money to other people. It's how do you give of yourself fairly? Meaning you, you still have enough time for you and then you can off, also offer up to others. Now for some of you, this could also be that somebody was constantly taking from you in the past and they just really over overdid their taking, taking, taking and you never felt like you received. And that was probably hurtful. A lot of you have gotten past this already. And then the Queen of Swords. So this is a very direct energy. I feel like you're going to be really clear about how you feel to others. So your honesty is going to be in the forefront, especially when it comes to how you feel about what other people's expectations are of you. So if they want something from you, you've learned your limits. You need to be able to say, no, I can't because I'm tired. Strength card in reverse. I don't have it to give. So it's about you being really honest, not only with others, because it really does just hurt you. It ends up hurting you physically, emotionally, mentally, when you try to overdo or you're too available to others. So I think you're going to be cutting some people off and saying, no, I, I just can't. I can't do this any longer. I can't give to you. It hurts too much. And I need to get past this and heal from maybe feeling as though I'm obligated to give of myself in ways that I'm not comfortable anymore. And from carrying all the weight in relationships and friendships and anything, even at work, if you've taken on too much responsibility, this is like, no, nope, I'm going to pay attention to what I'm being told here, my intuition. I don't have clarity necessarily about how this is going to unfold, but at least I know I'm coming to the end of something that's been challenging. The Ten of Wands with the High Priestess, again, they're coming out with the, I mean, what are the odds that the Strength card is going to come out twice now in reverse? You're tired it's not that you don't have the courage to push through. It's just complete, it feels like complete exhaustion. And this is where they want you to pay attention to your body. If those of you are um, feeling anything connected to your health or you're not feeling uh, as good as you should be, please go get checked out. Do follow whatever means you need to. But I feel like this is saying if you're that exhausted, you could be lacking in vitamins, certain nutrients, minerals, things that are important for you to to push, so pay attention to your intuition when it comes to your connection to any kind of chronic fatigue or feelings of just complete exhaustion. The High Priestess with the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Knight of Wands in reverse. So if you're not having an understanding of now that I'm putting down this load and I'm starting to shift, but I'm not sure which direction I'm going into, it's important right now to just understand that all you're developing is your higher sense of intuition, period. That's it. Not that you don't have to take action and do your job and do the things that matter. It just means that they really want you to allow that and not be so concerned about what's next. Now, the Knight of Wands, which you don't see coming with the Four of Swords, we have the King of Cups in reverse. So some of you, like I said, you may not be open to this. You may be shut off a little bit emotionally. And this could be, doesn't matter the gender. Remember, it doesn't matter that they are the same in the cards. It's telling me that someone's trying to come towards you, but a part of you has, has shut down and you're wanting to reconnect with your emotions. You're thinking this through. Do I want to open up? Do I want to be available to people emotionally? I've, I've had to leave behind so many things that I've carried with me for so long. Am I ready for this? So I think you'll think it through. The Four of Swords with, <clears throat> excuse me, the Eight of Cups in reverse. Now we have the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So some of you right now are just feeling like overwhelmed and it doesn't feel like things are as stable, but I'm, this is a reassuring reading. It's telling you that although you may be feeling all of these things, to open up, get ready for some of this burden to be taken from you. Some of you walked away from someone who was completely unavailable emotionally, not stable, and you recognized you had to think it through. And a part of you may have felt a really passionate connection to someone. But all the other aspects of this person were not available. And part of you may be needing to make a decision to walk away from them. So that's for some of you. You may be deciding this is just not enough. It doesn't matter how connected we are in that way. Something else is just a little off. All right. So what Spirit wants you to focus on with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups. The Eight of Wands in Reverse. 
there isn't a lot of communication or action um, happening around these past situations. For some of you, you may have been expecting someone from your past to give you an apology, and I just don't think it's going to happen. If things didn't work out. They may be contemplating reaching out to you, but I don't think they're going to. And this is also you trying to let go of why things didn't work out. The back and forth energy that you may have had and they may have had as well. Six of cups with the two of pentacles. We have the four of cups. It's in reverse. Here, he actually in this deck is looking at the cup and willing to receive. It's in reverse. So I don't know that you'd be receptive to this person's energy anyway. If they did decide to try to apologize and maybe they wouldn't be to you if you chose to. I think it's best sometimes to just leave something in the past. All right, so your challenge here, the Five of Cups, being sad about it, the Ten of Cups, um, and then the Ten, I mean, the Five of Cups and then the Ten of Wands in reverse. So it's a challenge for you to let go of some of those emotions and the Ten of Wands to believe that this is it, that you're actually laying down a burden. Um, sometimes we love people so much we don't, see that it really is a big weight that we're carrying and we need to let that go. So it's going to be hard for you at times to, to see how this is going to be better for you in the long term. Okay, so I'm going to clear this and we will get into you and your person if you'd like to stick around for this portion. Great, I'm just going to clear these. Um, and those of you that don't want to stick around for the love part, thank you for being here. Please hit that like button on the way out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on with you and your person. So it could have something to do with the main reading and it could actually be something completely different. So I just asked for open minds. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so your person's energy is very vulnerable, um, open, not wanting to be defensive, even if that's what you've experienced from them before. Do I think they're hiding something? Yeah, I do. I think something's unclear or maybe they feel like things aren't clear with you. They're not sure how you feel. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So they want to offer a new start. Some of you, yes, this is going to be somebody from your past. Could be a Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, Virgo is very strong for some reason. And Leo, Sag, Aries, all are here. I think they're hoping. They're praying for this opportunity. They'd like to be able to share something with you, whether it's their feelings or something that had happened. You're a little shut down, which we saw in the main reading. The King of Cups in reverse with the death in reverse. Uh, a part of you doesn't believe that this can transform itself or be successful. So you're not taking any action. It doesn't look like. You can flip the roles, but I just feel like that's how you're feeling right now. Let's see. The Romance Angel. upside down. Okay. That's weird. So th the wedding card came up upside down. You could have been married to this person, or it could be just that there was thoughts of that and it didn't work out. I don't know why some of these cards are in reverse, but they are. And I want to get them back in the upright properly. Okay. Here we go. But that could be a, a separation of marriage or something to do with that, or some regrets about what had happened Somebody could be just wanting to come back into your life and maybe that's what they want, but neither of you are interested in marriage or you may not be interested in marriage. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. If this is somebody new for you, um, you may be shut down. Like I said in the main reading, you may not be really open, but it's going to be up to you to make that choice, right? Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. It's, I mean, that's self-explanatory. And there was a lot of healing and letting go in the main reading. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the, the, sorry, the, 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 this moment fully. I can get that out. So there's something about being more attracted. Look, people are going to be attracted to you no matter what. If you're not open to it, that's Okay. If you don't want somebody's apology, that's okay. For you, it seems to be about what goes on within and forgiving yourself or other people for why things hadn't worked out and just letting them be. 
If you're not ready or open to that, that's okay. Let's see what the outcome is going to be. What's the outcome for Libra? Queen of Cups. It's still, it's shut down energy. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Not really willing to be open to working things out is what that says. And then the Knight of Swords. Being very honest. So somebody could come in very quickly as well. So the result is he's running away from something. It's not like the other one where they're actually facing out the card. This is like he's running from something. So to you, it's like you're running towards <clears throat> your truth. And I think that's all that really matters. Even if you're not really open emotionally, as long as you're expressing your truth to you, that's all that matters. What are the next steps? So we've got the nine of cups. It's a big focus on your fulfillment at this time throughout the month of se September. It's a little, which I think is a good thing, being selfish. You need to be. And then we have the nine of pentacles. So this is about your happiness, your growth, your stability. This is what the advice is, is to focus on those things. The knight of pentacles in reverse without an expectation of how long it's going to take for these things to happen. It's like just sitting and enjoying the things that matter to you most each and every moment of every day. And I think you're getting better and better at doing that. All right, let's see what we get from the Lover's Oracle. All right, that one right. It looks right. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Absolutely. We saw the Eight of Cups, so that means you are leaving something behind for sure. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Reflection, give each other. Okay, so some of you, this is just about giving each other some space right now while you figure out what's going to happen. Reflection, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And the last one is emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So if there is any there, that's for you or your person. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. What do we have for Libra? All right, we have the Observer. Stepping back and observing things is always a great way to find certainty, inner reflection. There's just a knowingness that you get when you really take a step back and observe things and, a, and people. <clears throat> Excuse me, you could be 49, born on the 4th, the 9th, or the 13th of the month. Let's see what's going on here. Deep knowing. Important, yes, because I think you always do know deeply. We all do. Do we ignore it? Sure. So you could be 43, born on the 4th, the 3rd, or the 7th of the month. You know exactly what you need to do. Just trust yourself. Exchanging gifts. You could be 27, born on the 2nd, the 7th, or the 9th of the month. This to me has lately been about your connection to either an animal, animals, or something that you feel nurtures you back. And sometimes it's not a human. It is an animal. They can, I mean, they don't call it man's best friend for no reason. So you may feel like you just connect more with nature and animals and things like that right now. And it's really the best gift you can give yourself. The thinker and the observer. Look at that. You've got a lot of fours going on too. So you could be 44, born on the 4th, of the 8th, or the 8th of the month. So thinker, nothing wrong with that. I think all of you are thinkers. Naturally, um, thinking things through can be good, but try not to overthink because it may be it may become a little exhausting. Try to get your energy out as much as you possibly can this month. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Please hit that like button. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate all of your support. And leave me a comment below if you feel like you want to share. I so appreciate those as well. And if you'd like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing month and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.